Hi, welcome back to CVEM 305, the Mechanics of Materials class. Today, up to now, we have actually looked at uh, stresses and strains and things like that. Today, we are actually going to look at something more specific. We are getting into what happens to structures when you actually apply forces to them, loads to them. Okay. Now, this is a fairly complicated thing uh, because what we are looking at are beams. And if you remember, a beam is like a thin, narrow object. So I'm going to show you a beam uh, just as an illustration so that you see what I'm talking about. So this is a beam. Forget about the... So that's a beam. Can you see that? It's thin in one dimension. I mean, sorry, it's long in one dimension. All the other dimensions are small, by the way. This is, this is a piece of a pool noodle because I can show you some interesting things about that. Okay. So if I take a beam and I told you before that a beam can do... Uh, one of four different things. It can transmit axial forces, that is push or pull. So I can take that and I can squeeze it or I can pull it, right? And you can see it doesn't deform much when I do that. I, I don't know whether you can see, but it deforms very slightly when I pull. I'm pulling as hard as I can, it de barely deforms. Pushing may be a little bit easier. You can hear the rustling sound as it compresses, right? That's push or pull, so it can transmit axial loads, it can transmit shear loads, which means sideways, sliding, okay. So what you do is you can take this, let's see, there you go, you can take this and slide it like that. Can you see that? That's, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you in a crude way, but you get the idea. So if I look at it from top, you will see sliding looks like this from the from the very top, if I look at it in the end view, sliding looks like that, right? Then these are the two what are called homogeneous modes or local modes of deformation, uh, pulling and sliding. And we talked about the strains that correspond to that, right? One was called axial strain, the other one was called shear strain, okay? But beams can do two more things. They can be bent by applying a moment that is sideways. Can you see how it get how it got curved sideways? And I want you to see that, can you see the two pencils, the one which is brown and the one that is uh, orange? What's the initial angle between them? Is it obvious to you that it is zero? When I bend it, can you see that they change their angle? Can you see how they change, how now the angle, there's a V between them, the angle of that V is called uh, the angle of bending or the bending angle and the bending angle per unit length is another measure. So just like extension per unit length is axial strain, shear slide sideways motion per unit length is shear strain, bending, bending motion, how much it is bent is determined by the angle of the V divided by the length of this and it's called the curvature of the V. Change in angle between the two cross sections divided by the length is called the curvature of the beam. The cross sections being represented by the two pencils. Okay. So if for me to bend it, I have to apply moment. In your physics class, it's usually everything is usually called torque, but we are a little bit more careful. Moments which are applied whose axis are perpendicular to the shaft, torques whose axis are perpendicular to the shaft are called bending moments. So if I have to bend something, I have to rotate it perpendicular to the shaft, to the beam. Can you see that? So the last one is twisting. So I hold it like this. So I'm going to twist it now like that. Right? Can you see? That's twisting. And in order to twist something, I have to apply a torque that is whose axis is parallel to the shaft. This is axial torque. Bending moment is transverse torque, axial torque is twisting moment or torque, that's what we just call it. So remember, in engineering, transverse torque is called moment, axial torque is called torque. So when you hear about torsion or torque tube or torque, they are always mean axial torque. When you hear about bending and bending moment, it's always called, uh, it's always transverse torque. The measure of deformation associated with this is obtained by looking at the end view. So 
So I don't know whether you can see. There you go. That's the end view there. And I'm going to when I twist it, see initially, can you see that the two that the that the two pencils are lined up? When I twist it, is it obvious to you know there's a different kind of V now? Right? This twisting angle divided by unit length is called angle of twist or the amount of twist. So this is curvature and let's put it this way and this is twist right. So we have four things pull it, slide it, bend it, twist it. Can you see that? So pull it and I'm pulling it as hard as I can but you can see pulling and sliding are very 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 much more difficult it will hardly deform the beam but bending and torque tor twisting will deform the beam very easily so when we look at when we study beams and when we want to figure out we are much more interested in bending and twisting they are far more detrimental to the strength of the beam than pulling and pushing and sliding okay so I hope you got this idea. So let's let's go through this again. The focus of a so first thing. So let's summarize this. First thing, beam means an object whose one dimension is much much larger than the other two. So it's a long thin object. That's a beam. And a beam is capable of transmitting four types of loads: axial load, pulling or pushing; shear load, sideways motion. Right, sideways loads, okay, bending and twisting loads. So transverse torque, axial torque. So it can transmit four types of loads: axial load, transverse, axial force, transverse force, axial torque, transverse torque. Okay, so if you get those four things, you're in pretty good shape. Correspondingly, there are four measures of deformation. The first one is change in length per unit length that's called axial strain epsilon xx you know we talked about this right the other one is sideways motion per unit length which is called shear strain right then change in transverse angle this kind of bending angle per unit length that's called curvature and change in axial angle you can see that right change in axial angle per unit length which is called twist okay so corresponding to each of them so for example the axial strain is related to the force applied to the beam axial force applied to the beam the shear strain is associated with the shear force applied to the beam the curvature is correspo corresponds to the bending moment applied to the beam transverse torque okay and the twist corresponds to the axial torque or torque applied to the beam. So those are the four things. Okay. Thanks.